In this video, we're going to fine tune SAM2. Now, if you're watching this tutorial, you probably know what SAM2 is, but for people who didn't know, SAM2 is an image segmentation model or a moving image such as a video where it can segment parts of the video. This has applications in the robotics world. Now, personally, I'm not that really into the robotics world myself. I've studied a little bit back in school, but not much more than that. But so far, it seems to be the state of the art in the open source world, at least. Now this fine tuning code can be run in Google Colab. Now this tutorial will be broken down into four main steps. We're going to install our packages, prepare our data set, train our model, and we're going to do some inferences. By the way, I make similar videos like these on LLM's machine learning and other data science tools. So please feel free to subscribe. Now the fine tuning code has been inspired from this Medium article over here, and I've made some slight adjustments to the code to make it run in Google Colab. Now I am using an A100 GPU, so let's get started. First things first, we're going to clone the repository for Facebook research. We're going to go into the segment anything to folder and install the packages that we need to do inferences and also fine tune. Okay, now I've installed the packages and I've restarted the session. So now I am going to go out of the directory. I'm just gonna check one thing if I'm in the content directory, which is this root directory over here. Yes, I seem to be on the content directory, which is great. So now I don't have to do anything. I'm gonna skip this CD part. Now what we do is we're going to install OpenCV Python and the and actually download the SAM2 Hera small model. You can also download the large model if you really want to, but we can use the small model over here. I will try to provide the links to the other larger models if you guys are interested. Now, so far we've installed the packages that we need or pack download the packages and the model. So what we're gonna do, we're going to prepare our data set. So getting the data set, we have to download a image data set over here with segment masks and the actual image that we want to train with. Now this might take some time to download the data set. Once we've done that, we're going to prepare our data set. We also have to unzip the images that we've downloaded. Now to prepare the data set, we're going to import the packages over here. So we'll be importing NumPy, Torch, CV2, and, the Google, and this Google Colab packages of CV2, some SAM2 stuff, and now we're going to organize our data set that we've downloaded. So first we're going to define our directory and the data. We're going to loop through our data set and make a dictionary of images and its annotations. So this should look something like along the lines of this. So if you inspect the data or how it looks like, this should look something like this. So each data has an image and an annotation, which we're going to use to train our model. Now to read the data set, we have to do some adjustments. We're going to define a function called read batch, and then we're going to set it an image. We're going to resize it. We're going to merge the vessels and material annotations, and then we're going to get binary masks and points. Once we've done that, now we can start to prepare for training. So as you guys probably know, we've already downloaded the model over here, SAM2 small. We're going to load it using our SAM2 package that we've imported and installed. And then we're going to enable the mask decoder and prompt encoder. And then we're going to configure our optimizer settings. And now we can start to define our training loop. So we're going to start a loop. So we're going to enable Torch CUDA AMP Autocast for mixed precision, prompt encoding, mask decoder. We're going to calculate the loss. We're going to score the loss calculations. So intersection over union. We're going to apply back propagation. And then we're going to display the results. And now we run it. Now over here, I'm running it for 1000 iterations. Usually you should train it for 50,000 or 100,000, but I'm just doing it for keeping this tutorial short. Okay, so the training is done. Although this is not a really good training in this case, because I only did run 1000 iterations, but we can still make some inferences. And I just wanna show you guys how to do it. So to make an inference, we're going to use these two images. We're gonna see how this image, this sample image over here can be used to find the segments in this image. So to do that, we're going to use wget to download these images. And then we're going to use float 16 and define the device type CUDA. We're going to load our images. Once you've done that, we're going to define our functions for reading the images. So we define these two. We're going to read and sample the points. We're going to load the model that we have trained. We're going to build the net. And then now we get to predict our image. To do that, we're going to put torch no grad. We're going to short predicted mask from high to low score. We're going to stitch the predicted mask into one segmentation mask and some other things that I don't really understand too well. But I got help from the guide that I found on Medium. And then we're going to save and display our image. And as we can see, from an image like this, we were able to segment it 
And even though the model hasn't been trained that well on our domain dataset, it still was able to segment it quite decently. All right, guys, so that is how you fine tune SAM2 with your domain data. Hope you found this video insightful. If you guys did, please feel free to subscribe. I make similar videos like these. All right, guys, hope to see you in my next video. Have a nice day.